The following video has been rated L for Lispy and may contain autism. Oh, don't even try to sit there and pretend or convince me that you don't do the do. Even if it's once a month, hell, once a year, you still do it regardless. Unfortunately, there will be a time or two where you'll need to release the stress, but you ain't exactly in a place where you can get it done. Uh, maybe you're at school, or you're at work, or perhaps you're at your granny's funeral. I mean, what can I say? I like my bitches dead. But you ain't got to worry, yo boy Devin has got you covered. So whip out your notebook, a pen, your favorite phallic object, or your Arby sandwich. We don't discriminate around here because I got a couple of tips to give you. Now I'm sure you've been at a buddy's place when your lower region comes a calling, especially if that particular friend happens to be uh, particularly attractive. Don't worry. We won't judge. So if that moment comes and you need to get it done right there and then, then I have a couple of rules and guidelines for you to follow. Where to do the do. Now the first big thing is where. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's the bathroom, not the living room, not the kitchen, and most certainly not your friend's bedroom. Like, please have some decency. But why the bathroom? Well, it's easy to clean up, it's the most discreet place in the house, and well, it's a bathroom. People poop there. I shouldn't even need to explain further on that one. Yo bro, you got any uh, research material? So what's a good private session without a little encouragement? But where you get it has to have some rules. Number one. Do not use any of your friend's electronics. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you don't have your own phone or laptop or something to do your research, well, you better whip out your imagination. No one wants your nasty hands on their stuff. And that also includes their magazines or whatever. Though I don't know who the heck actually jacks off or uh, gets off to uh, magazines. I'm guessing poor people, but th the rule still has to apply. No one wants to open up their favorite magazine and have their pages stuck together. Just saying. Should I put it in the garbage can? As for this one, this really only applies to us men. So ladies, um, I don't know. Go make a sandwich or something in the meantime. So guys. We all know our private time can get a bit messy. So what should you do about it? Well, don't you know? You have your own little come away device right beside you. Don't do it in their shower or tub or especially the sink. Like what the hell is wrong with you? Just like teenage mothers, you just gotta flush it. Problem solved. Does this washing hand sign apply to me too? All right, ladies, you can listen up again. So once the sinful deed has been done, don't you dare leave that bathroom yet. I don't care if the release produced absolutely nothing. I don't even care if it was a wolf of air. You better wash your mother fudging hands, especially you ladies, because well, that Arby special tends to condensate if you get me. Like you can't just go around putting your sticky and sweaty hands all over your friend's stuff. Well, unless you're a female, in that case, you can put your hands on me whenever you want. Unless you look a little something like this. Yo, is it time for the conclusion? Well, that's about it. Now that you've been edumacated on this stuff, Get out there and faff at your friend. You know what? What the heck is this video? I'm done. B but please subscribe.